Rachel from Spec Fitness again. Um, today we're going to do some arm exercises with um, some five pound weights here. And again, these are specifically for my Valley Fitness workouts. And for those of you who are just now joining me, um, I'm a professional ballet dancer, um, now a personal trainer, so I've kind of put my ballet and my fitness all together to create the Valley Fitness workouts. Um, so these are all just little things that we do in the class to create long lean muscles like a ballerina. Um, so you guys are going to start with both weights, and very simple, we're just going to start with 20 bicep curls. Everything we do, we're going to do 20 of each. Make sure you keep those elbows and arms glued to your body, and curl the whole way up, and the whole way down here. And we're going to do 10 more, and 9, and 8, so from the side you can see that we're not going back here, we're just going forward, and just 5 more. Four, three, two, and one. Good. So now we're going to bring those arms up to shoulder height. Make sure the elbows are straight forward and not out here. And we're just going to raise them up and down as if we're punching the ceiling here. This one is a tiny bit harder. So if it gets a little difficult, you can switch to one arm at a time here. And again, this one is also going to be 20. So we have 10 and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one. We're going to bring those arms down as if you're holding a tray and you're going to take them straight out to the side. Very important that this one you go straight out and not up here. So straight out and squeeze between your shoulder blades too when you come back in. And 20 of these. And 5. Four, three, two, one, and we bring those arms down. Now we're going to keep our arms slightly um, bent and palms facing them. We're going to lift straight up to shoulder height, bring them back down. This one's very important that you don't swing them back and use momentum. Every time you want to stop them by your side before you lift them up again. And keep them up to shoulder height and back down. If this one's too hard with your fives, you can always move down to three pounds too. And we have 10, and nine, eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, and just two more here. And last one. We're gonna do another shoulder one, lots of shoulders for today. We're going to keep arms slightly round again, and if you're kind of holding a big ball here, we're going to lift up to the side. Straight up and down. Just lifting up to shoulder height here. And make sure you're still holding your core in the whole time we're doing this. And 10 more. 9 and 8, 7, 6, 5. Four and three, two, and last one. Good. So now we're going to turn those palms straight back and we're going to work the backs of our shoulders now. We're going to lift straight up as high as we can behind us. And at the same time you're trying to touch them, bring them back down. And we lift up and down. This one, again, very important that you don't use momentum. Always stop them by your side. And just lift up as high as you can, squeezing in your back. And 20 of these. And we have 10 more. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and last two here. Okay, good. Now we're going to move on to our triceps. We're just going to hold the weights um, together over our head. You're going to drop the weights the whole way behind your head. Take them straight up. Very important that we keep those elbows pointing straight up to the ceiling here. And also keep them close to the head. And 20. And make sure you do the full range of motion going the whole way down, whole way up. And make sure you don't hold your breath here. And we have 10 more. And 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, bring the dogs down. Now we're gonna bend our knees and make sure we keep a flat back here. Hold your stomach in, arms down. We're gonna pull those elbows up as high as we can. Squeeze in the back of your shoulders, bring them down. So we go up and down, up, down. And make sure you bring them the whole way back down before you come back up here. And we have 10 and nine, pull those elbows up high. And five and four, three, two, and one, good. Last one in this circuit, we're going to add a little bit of chest in. You're going to bring your hands shoulder height. And we're going to bring elbows and hands, try to touch them. Open back up. In and out. Very important that you don't just reach the hands in. Elbows have to come in at the same time. So we're squeezing right here in the middle. And just keep opening and closing. Make sure you keep even breathing here. And last 10. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Good. All right, so you can just stretch your arms out a little bit. You can pull them across. Really loosen their shoulders, pull them up to stretch those triceps, and pull them back through your chest and biceps and open the fronts of the shoulders. Okay, good. Now you're going to repeat that circuit two more times, so you do a total of three. Make sure you do 20 reps of each exercise. 